。一号。一号。Okay, so River, you ran off away from the group, uh, to follow a lead you had. This lead consisted of. A distant apparition you saw while you were holding the locket you found. Uh, that of a mage, specifically a I believe it was a life mage, uh, Theresis. And you decided to go back to the cemetery while the others continued on towards the university. You continue that way uh, through the dark and the the not so brisk air of the night. And temperature is fine, though. Even you notice as you walk, much like the others, that there is no people to be found. You approach the gates of the cemetery, uh, the Calvary Cemetery. It is, and. Just as well inside here, you do not immediately see anything that would betray any signs of life. Can I do a quick scan to see if I can find the operation? You can. Let's see how this dice roll does. That is a two. Two successes? Yeah. Okay. You look around the cemetery, uh, and it's big enough that it's not something you can take it all in one straight go. But looking around from the same entrance you came in earlier, from all those graves that have people who did not live as long as they should have, that were cut short. You see the gravestones, and you note that upon them, there doesn't seem to be an end date anymore, a date of deceased, just when they were born. Not like it was rubbed out or anything, it's just not there. Just gone. Just gone. And looking around, with that just two successes, you don't see anyone, but you do catch that sort of floral scent again. Uh, go ahead and roll a 60-10 for me, please, and you can add the two successes as dice. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's a crazy good roll. You are not going to believe it. Okay. Uh, ten I re-roll, right? Yep. That's four tenths. Holy shit. I believe you. You don't have to tell me. I believe you. Okay, six success. Six successes? All right. As you are walking, kind of looking over these gravestones. It's Romulus who comes to attention. His ears raise up, he takes that alerted posture, and he begins barking. And as you, the first bark is kind of get your attention, you look, and immediately he's waiting for you before he proceeds forward. Pursue. Hmm? Pursue. All right, and with that, he takes off through the, crunching the grass below his feet, as he begins to run in a direction, um, and he's kind of weaving through the gravestones. You, uh, originally, your original thought was to kind of, I'm assuming, go towards where you went before. And you can see he's kind of running in that direction, but he's following the scent, uh, specifically it seems his floral scent, uh, and he's actually veering slightly away from it towards the outskirts of the cemetery. And you follow him down 
Uh, and with the, the critters, you are quickly descending over the small hill that, that overgoes the uh, Calvary Cemetery. You see it with the help of your dog. His crit extends to you as you crest this hill. And you see below, almost as if in daylight, but not illuminating anything around her, there is a woman who stands. And a wind that doesn't touch your skin seems to blow her hair and her dress, which is long and white. Now, River, you don't know much about ghost stories, but you know almost every town's got a white lady. And this seems to be the one that you heard about before. With your crit success, you know that for sure. You can one-to-one -one it with that story you were being told before. What's she look like? Uh, she isn't facing towards you completely, but she has long hair that looks like it could be maybe a, a blonde or a gray. And it has a slight curl to it. A wave, if you will, and a natural poofiness. Um, her her dress itself looks like some sort of nightgown, very silky, not quite transparent, but not a lot of fabric to it and not a lot of bulk to it. And as it catches the wind, it, it kind of billows out, but still kind of hugs her, her form a bit. Um, you can't see her hands as they seem to be clasped in front of her and she isn't quite facing you. Um, her skin itself is almost sort of transparent and pallid in complexion. Uh, and, and every now and again as her hair wisps along with her dress, um, it almost, when it hits the top of its billow, as if, like, you're watching smoke being billowed away. It seems to do that, but... Her form itself isn't dissipating. It's almost like the edges of it are blurred. I am going to do a quick resolve for closure. Okay. Because I think for a moment she's taken it back because it reminds her of her mother. Ooh, okay. Who is also dead. Mm-hmm. Okay, two successes, so she holds that together. All right. And it's yeah. definitely a pause on her step, and then she picks back up again. Mm hmm She makes sure that she has the amulet in hand. You do so, and, and Romulus moves alongside you. Let me turn this up a little bit. I don't know how you can hear the music. Here. Okay. So you you continue towards her, and are you trying to go straight from like behind her? Or are you kind of coming around? Um, she'll kind of strafe, see if she can get a better view of the face. All right. As you as you strafe, you get she doesn't immediately turn, and you're able to like slowly get around her, and as that her pro her back slowly kind of becomes a three quarter to a profile, and you see a woman with strong cheekbones and a a thin nose that kind of almost comes to an upturn but doesn't quite um and, and and a lot of strong angles to catch shadows on her face um but even then the lighting on her is very gentle very soft um there are light bags under her eyes and her eyebrows are pencil thin and she doesn't have much eyelash at all, with short eyelashes. Um, overall, she doesn't look young. She looks like she could be in her 50s, maybe older, and just aged well. Uh, and her, her uh, ears kind of, like, hide beneath her hair, but when they blow, you can see that they're, they're a little, like, not terribly large, but a little larger than normal. It, overall relatively friendly looking person. You seem lost. She looks to you as you kind of crest into view and her head follows you. And you can see in front of her, her hands are kind of clasped gently 
with the thumbs pressing against each other, the nails kind of playing together. And she follows you and she says, I am not lost. I am where I need to be. And where is that? Here, for you to find. You seem taken aback. What do you intend to gain from this meeting? Is it your locket? You found my necklace. I would like it back, but more than that, I'd like to thank you for finding it. It wasn't so hard. She puts it into the hands. Her hands kind of flip up. And as they do, you can see along them areas. And now you can see on the inner arm, which was kind of hidden, areas where it seems like a blade had stuck in and cut upward. Uh, there is no blood. It, it It's just you can see the, the wound like you would on, on a corpse. And she takes the lock and holds it in her hands. I hope that can grant you some kind of peace. As do I. Though, who knows when it'll get lost again. I just have to find it again. <laughs> and the wind blows again. And you look down, uh, you can look down and see that the floral smell comes from what seems to be blooming flowers at her feet. Tonight is a strange one. Did you do this? Do what? She motions around. It's not every day that we wake. There are theories for why it's in the bed. Perhaps so I can come back and take a look at another witching hour. Perhaps. Though I'm not sure I'll be able to answer. Perhaps not. But when next you lose your locket. Mm. She looks down at your dog. And she kind of lowers down may i wag 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 she pets him and she says what is your name river hathaway river yeah. hathaway it's my initials first didn't have a name to match mariah lacos <laughs> Uh, M A R I A H L A C O Z. All good, all good. And it's been a long time since my coven and I. Are you part of the same that we're in the coven or not the, the tower? Yes. They were my people. Am I separate? I have been gone for a very long time. Someone had to set the footwork. And I hope that they continued on after me. So is it it? Good. She looks around. What? What is the year of our Lord? 
Year. The year I think for this is like two. Oh god, it's like 2016 or something. You can do insert year here if you. Insert like. year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her eyebrows go up. It is a very long time. What is your purpose for being here, River Hathaway? There are a few things that drive me. I had a hunch with this locket that might belong somewhere. And I suppose I had another question. What's it like after? After one dies. What did say? It's peaceful. I can recall no life after I've passed until my occasional wanderings when time catches up and then afterwards is lost again. Like, like a ray of sun traveling for a moment before it's a shadow and then I I'm gone again. Though, I am not a normal case. I am a creature of magic and strong belief. But it is not scary. Not too. Are you worried of death? In this time, I worry for another. Perhaps I have thoughts of it, but I have no intention to run into those until the moment. It's a fun. For now, though, I found the locket into its rightful place. As far as I have a team to return to. Or you do. You worry for the life of another. So more plainly several. Some that are gone, some that are still here. Well, I can't help with those that are gone, but those that still here, or at least one. She holds out her hand. And she closes her hand on Round the lock, it squeezes it, and then opens it again, and you can tell it has a faint aura to it. She'll lift her hand up. Bring me my locket again, after you find a way to help your friend. And we can talk perhaps more of what the afterlife is like. Will you be here the same or return it to your grave? I don't know. No matter what you know about. She nods. And do you take the locket? I do. As you do, you feel something run through you. And there's no whisper or anything. It's just this feeling. Not quite of warmth, but of sunlight. And you feel it as you hold this locket. And I will say, River, with this locket, or without it, you now have one charge and one opportunity to cast Fantasia. <laughs> that is a master level life spell. And it is able to alter life, existing life, in dramatic ways. I think I 
gonna have to probably end up choosing it then. I will say this is unless you do it cleverly, this is something that will be generally one target only. But in the moment, if you can figure out something clever, I'll give it to you. Okay. One bullet in the chamber. <laughs> I wish you luck. And thank you. You can be about needed. That's well. We will meet again. In another witching hour. Soon to be. And she smiles. She's gonna back up. See if she intends to fade or if she's gonna awkwardly leave this situation. As you as you back up and start to leave, she will turn and begin walking towards the direction of her grave. And as she does, uh, the places where, when her, her dress billows and then hits the ground, more small patches of flowers are left. Can you head up? Uh, yeah, she'll turn to return to the party. All right, River, you leave the ghost, and head back to the party. A little more, uh, world than you were. <laughs> Good news, fellas. Afterlife peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Take away from this. Guys, when we die. <laughs> Alright, there you go. 20 minutes, but... Yeah, I got it. I was just like one scene. Mm-hmm. Also, Brandy, do you want to bring up? Mm-hmm. This is a sketch of her mother when she was younger. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> she wore white all the time, too. <laughs> Holy shit, so the woman was like near identical near to identical her mom. To her <laughs> That's just amazing coincidence. <laughs> Wait, pass her. can you pass it closer? Or is it? Because magic runs in the family. Oh! That's why she was utterly thrown. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, this is really close to what the ghost would have looked like. Mm-hmm. Nice. 